Vito sent me. You're Connie, right? Yup. Connie DeMarco. Been keeping an eye on the smuggling business for Vito. Roy Thibodeau's in charge now, and it's a damn shit show. Why hasn't Greco bounced him yet? Oh, he bounced Roy right into a hole if he got to say so. Greco didn't pick Roy, and that puts a target on his back. Still, Roy's trying to sell the usual shit from out of Cuba. Cigars and rum, mostly. Hell, rumor has it they even selling medicine and shit to the Cubans. Sounds like Greco's scrambling. <laughs> Imagine Greco thought his Uncle Sal would give him a break, but no. So he's squeezing everyone, including Roy. Business gets any worse, Roy's gonna have to come down and see to it himself. Mind, Roy's got a few guys here and there. Might take some persuading, but I'll get him to talk. You get hold of any Roy's guys yet? They're sure to talk if you, uh, ask just right. It was Greco's play. The way I hear, Sal didn't have nothing to do with it. You ever seen Michael Greco? You gotta go. Why? You Are you serious? Tell me what's going down at Roy's warehouse. There's a man with a gun. The boss is trying to get medical supplies to Cuba for him. Ash, I know we have shipment here. Maybe you can pass by and check it out. Nighty night, bitch. It's not like the law is gonna catch us running TVs or some shit. No, they're just gonna catch us running medicine. Medicine we stole from a goddamn charity. Not only that, we're selling it to them reds in goddamn Cuba. Now you get a conscience. My friend, them comics, they're paying us with greenbacks the same as anyone else. Boy needs to put his head out and stop doing every damn thing Greco tells him.
Hold on there. That shit's all him. Let's go. He's over here, you bunch of fuckwits. Come on over this weekend. We'll be glad to have you. He about to get an edge. He's over here, you bunch of fuckwits. Death fucker can't be feet, cocksucker. No. Say goodnight to the asshole. Uh. Uh. Yeah! Uh. 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 
Anybody follow you? Boy, it's rattled. Scared of Greco. Terrified of you. <laughs> Heard he started sleeping at the warehouse. It's the only place he feels safe. Good. Means I have an easier time getting my hands on him. Once he's taken care of, we'll move in. Vito will turn things around. You'll see. That poor fucker Roy is back at the warehouse. Do what you gotta do. Battlefield promotion will come a lot quicker. Assuming the man hitting us don't sneak in here and cut your goddamn throat. Maybe you should worry about that. Amen. Sure, sure, cocksucker.
Jack turned pussy and ran out. Fine. Let's look okay. someplace else. Why do I gotta do it? He was there, right? Drag that motherfucker down. They'd have killed your ass anyway. Need you guys to secure the smuggling operation at the warehouse. Today, I'm sure the file on Vito Skelet is about three feet thick, but that wasn't always the case. Hoover didn't even acknowledge the Mafia existed until 1957, so we weren't really keeping tabs on guys like Vittorio Scaletta till after that. Now, we know he served in World War II and did a six-year stint in prison for theft and illegal distribution of federal rations. It's, uh, it's generally believed he was a made member of the Falcone family in Empire Bay, though he's also a suspect in the death of Don Carlo Falcone. 
Now, if he did kill the Don, Vito must have had friends in high places because he was allowed to live. He was exiled, though, and forced to relocate down here. And the commission convinced Sal Marcano to make Vito a lieutenant and give him some rackets. Hey, Lincoln. Everything back to normal here now, thanks to you. 